I, no. No, I no. met George first. No. Yes, well, I met George first. You at met, Vince's house. Yes, but you met George first, but I became friends with Myra's first. And then you and George became friends. So you became friends with George through me and Iris. Technically, the question was, how did you meet them? I met Iris at a virtual friend's uh, door game thing for her wedding. Well, for George, I've known him since he's like tiny, teeny, probably grade six. Grade six. That's like 11 years old. And then we went to high school together. Then uh, Iris, I met her maybe a year, two years ago. Yeah. Um, I met George online, but <laughs> in person. I oh, think man. he's gonna use your answer so okay, long. This is awful. <laughs> I met George online. I met George through him. Um, I've known George since grade nine. Uh, we had PE class together, and uh, yeah, that's where we first met. Um, I met George through Vince, and that was about almost eleven years ago. Um, the first time I met him, we actually was at his Fulton house playing uh, Big Two. For Iris, we met her through George. I think that's the same for both of us, right? I believe the first time we met her was at one of George's birthdays. Yes, it was at 508. Yes. And she wanted to go to the strip club afterward. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Through Vince. Through Vince, we met. Yeah. Through Vince playing through George through Vince. Board games. Yes. At Vince's uh, parents' place. I met George through you <laughs> by hanging out at your place. <laughs> and then I met Iris when we do that group thing, you know, the group meetup. And that's it. Uh, I met George Sue probably back in. Oh god, probably like 92, 91 around there? I don't know, no, maybe probably longer than that, because he's totally- Someone's showing his age! <laughs> <laughs> then we met Iris at George's birthday dinner, right? Birthday Zoom, right? Uh, yeah, big... no, it wasn't earlier. Yeah. Well, I think I met before. George back in couple six, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we probably saw a movie together. Yeah, that's it. I think I, I, think I saw, saw a movie, movie with George at Kind of Six one time. Met George through Eki, and then met Iris when she came in to visit at the office. Same. I met George and Eki, and... Yeah. Well, I met George in elementary school in grade six. And uh, I met Iris shortly after they started dating. I met George in high school. Um, I think I think it was grade nine, and uh, we went. We were in uh, Japanese class together. Iris. The first time I met George and Iris is I met them at the same time and through you. Right. And obviously you met them before I did. Mm. Yeah, don't ask him too hard question because he doesn't remember. Sorry, Iris, anything. I don't remember. <laughs> Short term memory. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I met Iris subbing at a school, and I met George when he came to pick up Iris from that school. I would say during the picnic we all went together. You guys were really cute together. You guys worked well. I didn't pay too much attention at the time, <laughs> but uh, they made really good parents. <laughs> um, you guys would play games together on the phone. iPhone? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
I think so. Angry Sperms? Was it Angry Sperms? <laughs> or Candy Crush? No, the, no. Uh, the Smurf game. The Smurf game. Yeah, right. The Smurf game. My fond memory was at IKEA having ice cream or and Walmart. Oh, Walmart. Taking picture in front of the sign with our what did we call them? with our goshi bags, <laughs> proud goshi bags on uh, in the picture. Yes. We had a name on we our WhatsApp, proud, but proud can't Walmart remember. shoppers. <laughs> we didn't go together. We just uh, bumped into each other there. Game night. Yes, awesome. more board games. More board games. Always fun. <laughs> well, it's Man, good thing though, this wasn't the same. Well, one one question. Uh, Can you read that question? <laughs> <laughs> You farted or something? No. <laughs> Too much pressure. Too much pressure. Um, uh, man, the point positive. Well, well, I could say every time Iris came into the office to visit, um, obviously you guys are really happy together. You enjoy each other's company. But maybe the the Christmas party when we did the skating and the hot pot when we went skating at Minaru. Oh, right. You always hurt all the time. Uh, one of the first times we hung out, everybody was uh, just laughing and just having a good time. These questions do require your short-term memory. <laughs> I really commend Iris for supporting George's superhero, Superman stuff, 100%. I mean... No, that's amazing actually. Yeah, I don't know if any other woman could do that. Ooh, good question. My first positive memory? Um... Um, I remember the day that Iris gave birth to Orion and we went to hang out with her at the hospital and visit Orion. George was not there on the day that his wife gave birth to their child because he had to go downtown to go take out some Bitcoin money. But he got, he brings the money. <laughs> you guys kind of complete each other's sentences. Or Iris jumps in. <laughs> Completes your sentence. What? Funniest? Funniest? Well, I guess I'll have to go with George on this one. We used to chat on the computer a lot. And then sometimes, I don't know, we'd, we'd be chatting till like, you know, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, pretty late. And then I remember I'd just send George a message and I would never get an answer back. I thought it was weird, but I just, because we were in like the middle of a conversation and then he'd just not answer. And uh, so then. Whatever, I wouldn't hear back from him the next t until the next day, and then I'd ask him, so what, what happened? And he goes, uh, I don't know, kind of just uh, fell asleep and woke up in my bed the next day. And I was always wondering who carried you back up to your room. Like, I remember George showing up one day, I don't know where it was, what? It was during high school, but I don't know if it was at school or if we were going somewhere. But he showed up in like a, a Jet Li suit. 
<laughs> and that was when, like, when? <laughs> this, that was when like Jet Li like first came out in Hollywood and was like when? <laughs> uh, filming movies and he had this suit on it was like you know those Chinese suits with like short collar like the Jet Li and we call it Jet Li suit it's like oh here comes Jet Li right um, that's I'll never forget that like the color was like almost it was like light beige I think oh, it was really that, light oh it wasn't black no it was oh. like really light and uh, this Chinese guy with dark hair or maybe he dyed his hair too I think he dyed his hair <laughs> matching the <Yeah. laughs> Nice color. <laughs> yeah. So with Georgia, um, that's pretty. That's, that was a pretty funny moment. I don't know. She was trying to set him up with her friend, and he thought they were kind of annoying, from what I heard. <laughs> but apparently, there was some consumption of beverages. And uh, eventually they got together and there'll be some parts that we won't share here. <laughs> I would say, you know, it probably got arranged or something. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's your friends, maybe it's your parents. You never know. <laughs> you never know. I would say at a Taiwanese restaurant. <laughs> Online. No. How do At I think? At the club. At the club. Probably the club. At the club. It was probably the club. At the club. Maybe. Or at, um, where's that place? Uh, 508 Bistro. <laughs> Library. Hmm. Well, seeing how George is really, uh, to computers and internet, I would first thought would be that's how they met through uh, George being sly on the internet. <laughs> I think I remember them saying that they met through he was supposed to hook up with her friends, but that didn't work out, and somehow they got together afterward. That's how I remember it. Oh. Online dating. <laughs> sure. Good answer. <laughs> no, it must have been through friends. Yeah. Okay, you that's gonna stick with that. Online dating. I, I thought they met through uh, some mutual friends. And then uh, like so I said, first time I uh, met Iris was at George's birthday, so I thought it was with yeah. That George knew her through some other friends there. So, well, I, I already know how you met. You guys met during a movie. Is it? Yeah, no. your friend. <laughs> your friend introduced herself, like introduced you to, and then something about you don't really like her in the beginning, and then after a year or so. We just met again and together now. Um, I think they met through friends. But if I remember right, I was just trying to set him up with somebody else, if I remember right. Obviously not at a bar. Um oh, I don't know how I to think they did me. tell us. <laughs> Maybe online. Yes, let's do online one. E online. E harmony. E harmony. E <laughs> let's go with that. Yes. <laughs> uh, through friends, through friends, clubbing or dinner or something. George loves that iris. Is the best mom ever to their child, and she takes care of Orion and she takes care of George and makes him yummy food and makes him fat. <laughs> and I think Iris loves George because he's always supportive of her 
and he takes care of her and Orion in other ways. And I think they love each other because they always make each other laugh. I think George fell in love with Iris because she's so nice and kind and very, very easy to talk with and can tolerate George, for sure. <laughs> Iris fell in love with George because he's George. <laughs> Good answer. I think so. Yeah. Her food. Um, yeah, because George likes food. So. Tea eggs. Her eggs. Her eggs? George likes her eggs. <laughs> yeah, I think that works. Her eggs. I think would be her bubbly and cheerful personality because that's what I get from her. So I'm hoping that that's why that's what attracted him to her. I think uh, another thing that uh, you might like is the fact that she can communicate with his parents quite well. No language barriers there. <laughs> Well, I'm going to say Iris is gorgeous, so it's got to be looks. Partly. It's got to be something with that. And you don't know how to answer the second part. Why is Iris that gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm sure they're both very happy that they are Taiwanese. And uh, I'm, they, they always seem to just have a good time together. They're always happy. Because he's just crazily unique that way. <laughs> then he <laughs> he's just it. out there. <laughs> then he dyes his hair to match his skin. Yeah, he, he ain't normal, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you don't run into George's every day. He's Curious George. That guy's like... Oh, right, that's a good one. Curious yeah, George. Because <laughs> he's Curious George. Uh, Iris's smile? George. I think George. I think Iris tries to be the bossy one, but George won't listen to her. <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh. Oh. Maybe they share it equally. Hmm. I think Iris wears the pants in the relationship. <laughs> George will be like, you know, you know what the good answer is, right? Every single time he should be like, yes, dear, you're right. That's the perfect answer to everything. <laughs> right? Yes, dear. Oh, yes, yes, dear. <laughs> uh, I think it's pretty equal. Depends on what, maybe. If it's technology, maybe George. If it's housework, maybe Iris. Right? How do you be bossy in technology? I don't know. It all depends what we're talking about. I think when it comes to like computer savvy, it's more George, but when it comes to house stuff or like being on time, I think it's Iris. True. Being uh, going out somewhere, I can see Iris being the one saying, "Let's go, let's go," and George's like, "Finish your makeup and let's up. go." <laughs> no. Okay, fine. Put up, finish putting <laughs> gel in your hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh. I would say honestly, neither. <laughs> neither? Neither. I think they're both on the same level. I don't think there's any one more than the other. Iris. I Iris. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> Whatever you said. 
I'm gonna go with George on this one. <laughs> they both do a fairly good job of that, I think. Yeah, I think they both listen well to each other. Yeah. And um yeah, that, that so that doesn't make any one of them bossy. That's just the respect. Sure. Iris. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say Orion. 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 Oh, I don't want to answer that. Because I like Iris. And I want to favor her. I guess George is funny. Yeah, George is funny. George is funny. Yeah. Um, Orion. Yes. I've known George for a long time, and uh, he's done some pretty funny stuff, so. I think when it comes to raunchy stuff, George <laughs> is more funnier. <laughs> Things he does. He's just got like, this voice he does. Just, that's just absolutely. <laughs> I, I can't even do it on cam. It's, it's just too bad. I think we need him to come out yeah, here and do if, it for if, us. When you play like board games with him or you hang out with him enough, you'll hear this voice. <laughs> and it's just like especially this for, sexy voice. Especially for dirty minds. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to say that's pretty funny. I think Iris laughs at everything, so I just laugh at her laughing. She does laugh at everything. She does! Yeah. It's really easy to get her laughing. Yeah. George. I'm gonna go with Iris. <laughs> Watching Iris play Xbox Sports is always good for laughs. And <laughs> jumping all over the place. Yeah. That was quite memorable. Yeah. It gets every well, it gets everybody into the mood and everybody that everyone wants to join in and play too, right? I'll say George, but I don't know. I'm not certain. I'll say George too. I don't I'm still gonna have to go with George on this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the. <laughs> I, think, I, I think Iris is fine here. Really? Yeah. I don't know, actually. Iris? Are you funny? Iris. Iris. She seduced him. <laughs> She bought him a drink, and George said, what? And I said, here you go. <laughs> That's it. Done. <laughs> Together. Oh, definitely you, George. <laughs> Probably George. Iris. Mm. George. I'm rooting for the girl. George. That was me, so I'm thinking Iris is very like, I know what I want and, and I'm getting it. I'm gonna go with Iris. I guess I'll have to go with George. <laughs> yeah, I see George. I, I see George. George too. Can't be Iris. <laughs> George. What's that be George? Wow. I'm pretty sure it was George. There, we don't call him, uh... What did we used to call him? It was, uh... Oh man, you're lucky, George. I can't remember what it is. You're lucky. Superman. Yeah, it's gotta be Superman. That's to be. Yes. Ah! I don't know, um... Maybe George. Iris is a good cop. No! No! George plays good cop. Iris comes in after his bad cop. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> I think equal for this one. I think so. 
virus will be the Taiwanese cough. Is that a good cough or a bad cough? I heard they're pretty nice. Okay, so it's a good cough. <laughs> She'll be a good cough. Maybe you both will be a good cough. I don't see either of you being a bad cough. Uh, I'd say George is the good cough because he is very laid back. Not saying that Iris is not, but well, she has I can pick, see George just kind of being like. I think it's yeah. I think it's because she had to pick up the slack, so she has to. Yeah. It was like enforced on her. <laughs> George is bad. Yes, George is bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I say good cut will be George. George and then Iris will be good cut. Iris. Sorry, Iris. Iris. This is the way I was brought up, man. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I'm guessing. Usually, dad is the bad cop and the mom is good cop. You think so? Yeah. I think it's gonna switch with you guys. I don't think it's gonna be necessarily one or the other. I'm gonna guess actually that uh, George is probably the good cop and I, I think that Iris would be the bad cop on this one. Yes. I, think, I think George is the good cop. Good cop? Yeah. Okay. George is. George is a George, although he had that jelly suit on, he's he's soft at times. I think he will be soft most of the time, and then when it when it is time to like, okay, let's get this, you know, discipline, then I think he would do that. At the same time, Iris will be you know, motherly love and also disciplining at times, but there are mothers we're always accepting. Right, right. When Iris says no more. When there's a girl. When there's a girl. <laughs> we had this conversation like uh -huh. half an hour ago, so we know the answer, so you can go ahead. I'd, uh, I think the ideal number is two, but uh, the goal is three. No more than three. <laughs> uh, George, like a uh, uh, soccer team, Iris two. George comes from a bigger family, so... What can I want to mimic? Yeah. Their so, family's used to making babies. So if he had a choice, as many as he... as many as Iris can push out. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Of his own? What? What? No. Six. Four, four or five. Okay. For a bigger family. Yeah, I was gonna say like three or four because... Yeah, I would say three and four. I can see, like, Ar yeah, and again, uh, Ara's working at the school and work with a lot of little kids, so I'm pretty sure she can handle it. So, heck, maybe she'll have, maybe she wants a class size of 20, even. Who knows? <laughs> Three. Three. Two boys, one girl. <laughs> well, I know George comes from a pretty large family. I'm not quite sure about Iris, but I'm, I'm sure they'll probably end up having uh, probably at least two to three children, I'd say. i say two. Two or four go by even numbers. Of their own? They might adopt. What? <laughs> they might. You never know. You never know. I don't smell either of you guys. Yeah, I haven't had the opportunity to sniff either of them in uh... But if I had to answer, I'd probably say Iris because I don't sniff dudes. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Iris. <laughs> I never checked, so I wouldn't know. It depends what part you're smelling. <laughs> right. I'm gonna say, uh... I say natural would be Iris, and probably perfume as Iris too, because I'm a girl. Probably, I, I, I have to agree with that one, because I do know that George sweats a lot. He sweats really easily. Then, that's then we that's have, we'll have something to, we'll find out, we'll find out for you. He might find out at the wedding. Yeah, maybe. After you got a few dancing. 
George has some news. Yes. So we'll see you then. Okay. Iris. <laughs> Oh, like that's just not right. That's, yeah, that's just too easy. Yeah. I would say iris. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes iris. iris. First of all, I wouldn't want to smell a dude anyway, so I'm going to say iris. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, it has to be iris. <laughs> I don't want to do a smell test. Iris wins. <laughs> <laughs> iris. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go with those too. I Iris, of course. Of course. <laughs> oh no. What? It smells better. <laughs> Is that your does he still have your cooler? Oh, oh my god! Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's like two years old! Let <laughs> me check the expiry date on that thing. <laughs> How'd you know it's gonna come up? <laughs> How'd you know that answer was gonna come up? <laughs> there has to be some. No, there isn't. That was still okay. I'm not gonna drink on camera because I'm responsible. We still have to <laughs> wait for later. This awesome blueberry growers cider, 7% alcohol. Kick ass. He got silly with this thing. I was just. Uh... I can't go any faster. <laughs>